Yeah. Look, this is a, a, a former commandery. Well, they're still there, of course, of the, uh, the Maltese order from the 13th century. I think I've never seen a, a commandery of the Order of Malt. Never seen that before. Templars, yeah, because this is after the Templars. Remember, they stopped at 1291 officially. 1291, that's um, almost, let's say, 1300. And this is like uh, 200 years later. Here it says the route, the, the road to the commandery. Oh, there it is. I've never seen a, a Maltese order commandery before. So when the Templars like disappeared, then all this order of Malt, it came out uh, the 13th century, like 1291, the Templars disappeared. And then the, uh, this is order of Malt and the, uh, the Teutonic Knights, they popped out. And here's a, uh, here's a chair showing the, uh, the Sun hieroglyph. This is like Golgotha. I hope they're not going to crucify us. It says it's an old commandery of the Order of Malt. Never seen that before. So, but it's somebody's living here. Charming gate. Very charming. What's that? We hello. Oh, that looks quite dark, eh? Doing sacrifices or what? And uh, yeah. What is SCI? What does that mean, eh? I don't want to ring the bell. When I was filming, I couldn't really see with the bare eye what it was. Only that it must have been some sort of a black energy absorbing statue. Then, when I had it imported into my computer and using the incredible 40 times optical zoom of my Sony camera, I saw what it was. At first, it reminded me of the creepy penguin of the Wallace and Gromit movies. That was one of the two videos, together with the drums of Jumanji, where my boys got really scared when they were still very small. And I must admit, they made a real creepy thing out of that penguin. Which, just as the creepy black statue, might also very well be a representation of Horus here from the French Louvre Pyramid Museum in Père Isis, also called Paris. And Horus, of course, is the child god, as in the Horus Matrix of killing the man at the battlefield, enabling the Swiss sisters of Isis to reshape the man, new from scratch without their daddies interfering in their sons' upbringings, after the nowadays popular word, a reset. Well, the Horus reset, if you like. So here you see a couple of videos on my Israeli Ahava Life 5 to 8 channel, where I talk about the Horus Matrix. Uh, here the Horus Matrix, this one here. Here Horus. Uh, here the Horus Matrix, this one the Horus Matrix in French, here the Horus Matrix. And this black Horus, the child, after certain satanic pharaonic incantations in an order of malt ritual, might very well be the reason for the black-eyed children showing the black Horus goose statue for the mirror of their lost souls lifted out in a Swiss code O2T ritual, which you can see in this video here. Here you can read about the phenomenon in Wikipedia about the black-eyed children from Wikipedia. Uh, quite strange things going on. And mind you, 
that the color black in the occult world has some undeniable properties of absorbing energy. As black scientifically absorbs sunlight, heat, and whatnot. You don't need to be a wizard to understand that this statue has an evil air around it and that it doesn't radiate light. It definitely represents Horus the child because this is what Freemasons and Templars need for their, for their satanic rituals. Children. They need children. In order to lift out the soul through the Swiss code O2T ritual to make black eyed children and whatnot. So here you see Isis with Horus, the child Horus, the child god Horus. And then there is the mysterious black goo, also related to the pharaohs after the discovery of several Egyptian mummies covered in a sticky, mysterious black goo. So I wouldn't be surprised this creepy black statue is covered in Egyptian black goo as the Templars come out of the aristocracy as this de Vissé family and the aristocracy comes out of Pharaoh. Therefore the Freemason descendants of it all, always showing the whole Pharaonic symbology. Here you can see another of those black statues of Horus, the falcon god, and hatched out of the egg, so to say. Ancient Egyptian coffins and mystery of black goo. Several ancient Egyptian coffins and mummy cases have been found covered in a mysterious black goo. Dr. Kate Fulcher, a research assistant in the museum's Department of Scientific Research, explores what is this goo is made from, why it may have been used, and what it can reveal about Egyptian funerary practice. So here you see the black goo on a mummy. The French king was right when he said that the Templars were Satanists and needed to be burnt at the stake. By Guillaume de Nogaret, the king's prosecutor, and the most hated man of all times by the Freemasons and the Templars. And you can see by his headdress that he is perfectly aware of his pharaonic descent, his pharaonic origins, being an aristocrat. Here it says Guillaume de, it means he's a nobleman like the German von. So here you can see the name de Vesse. So the aristocratic house of de Vesse owns the order of the Maltese commandery and the whole town is called after them. It says de Vesse, de Vesse le lac, chemin de la commanderie, the road of the commandery. In French, names with de in front are aristocratic of origin, like the German von as in de Vesse, where C at the end, like here, comes from Seth, Pharaoh's lord of the underworld.
Uh, these are the typical remote places, you know, where they bring children. Like, look, it's very remote. There's a nice little lake there. There's nothing around. enemy is here. They are here. Save the children. Okay. So the, the commandery is in the town of De Vesse and that family was also called De Vesse and that's De it's very aristocratic, de WC. And it says here Temple, so there must be something of the Templars. I don't think it's a Protestant church or something. So let's let's have a look. So this is a um, it's called Le Temple, a Protestant church. They call it Le Temple because it's all from the Templars. It says it's a Protestant church, Lutheran church, Reformed church. And it has a Templar's cross in it, you see that? Or the Order of Malt, which we've just seen in blue. So, you know, Martin Luther, his wife, he, she was she was an aristocrat and she had a Templar's uh, cross in her coat of arms. And uh, Martin Luther of the, uh, the Protestantism in Wittenberg in Germany, he was all the time in castles, living practically in castles. So if it says in France, and if it says Le Temple, uh, either there's something of the Templars or a Protestant church, which is the same. It's all the same, which you can see here. Well, actually, it's quite simple. You know why is Protestantism by the Templars? Because Catholicism, normally it was connected to the uh, to the French king. He was the head of, uh, of the, the, the Catholic church, like in France, and to, uh, to weaken the king. Uh, they made another religion, you know, so the king, he didn't have any more control about the, the religion. And this is really the origins of uh, Protestantism, which I've already shown you in one of my videos. It's all Protestantism, it's all by the Knights Templars uh, to attack the king and the old, the old world order, the Vatican. And the Catholic Church is part of the, the old world order and they, this is the new world order. You know? De V7, il insistait pour faire, pour changer la croix sur moi. Oubliez pas de mettre la croix de main. Oh, there's not much to see. Oh. And it's quite peculiar that in a predominantly French Catholic area, there is a Protestant church in that town, which in France is called Le Temple, or the Temple, out of which the word Temple is derived from. Therefore, most Freemasons are Protestants, or nothing, and no religion at all. I hope you can all see the Templar's cross on this uh, Protestant church here, the Reformed Lutheran church here in France, where the Order of Malt commandery is, and it is in blue for the war. As the King of France traditionally was together with the Pope and the Catholic Church. So in order to destabilize the King and replace his feudal Old World Order with the horizontal rule Templars White House Bare Hat New World Order, it would be a good idea to attack the King's religion and replace it in order to weaken the King's sphere of influence. It says the King Philip of France, and he kept Pope Clement V in Avignon as his pet Pope. Well, you had to do this, you know, otherwise the Templars would have taken over. And the Templars took over anyway, you know, they didn't need the Pope anymore. So because they couldn't get the Pope, 
who was uh, guarded by the king in Avignon. So that's why they put in place Protestantism. That's why. So Martin Luther, he invented together with his pals, he was not alone, the Protestantism to destabilize the French king. And that's why Martin Luther's wife, Katharina von Bora, whom you can see here, she was a German aristocrat with a Templar's coat of arms in her nobility crest. Look, there we go. Yeah. And her mother, she's coming out of the Fürstentum, the aristocratic house of Sagan. Um, yeah. Johann von Bora auf Lippendorf. And look at their coat of arms. There you go. You all see the Templar's coat of arms, can't you now, eh? You see? And there's a crescent moon in it as well. It's all from the Orient. We're being ruled by the guys of the Orient. And von Bora, it means out of Bora, from Bora, etymologically comes out of the demotic pharaonic per a, becoming bor a, meaning the big house and base of the word pharaoh, per a, meaning the big worldwide house and descendants of pharaoh. Here it says per a or per a. They write it here per a because you only write the consonants in demotic, but it is per a, which which has become bor a, and von it means from, so she it means she is from the big house, the big worldwide pharaonic house, and she was a pharaoh, and she did have a Templar's cross in her coat of arms. And the Templar's cross, it comes out of a pyramid. By the way, Birdie Birdie here is a falcon, of course. And that's why the crescent moon and its oriental stuff, because it's the whole Horus matrix and the story about Horus. The falcon is the only bird that, that stands up in the air like this. An eagle, it, it, you know, it circles around. It, it doesn't stand up like this. I, I already made this video here about it. And Martin Luther hated the jaywalkers. He was a fan of Bernard de Clairvaux of the Cistercians, who helped founding the Knights Templars. His wife, Katharina von Bora, has a Templar's cross in her mother's coat of arms. She was in a Cistercian monastery. And von Bora, Bormann, Martin Bormann, Hitler's vanished treasurer, Martin Bormann, is without any doubt a descendant of Katharina von Bora. Bora, Bormann. The same facial characteristics. And the whole war was aristocratic, Templar led. Anyway, the Nazi Templars. Out of Pharaoh. Did 007 save Martin Bormann? Well, Ian 007, Fleming, was an aristocrat himself. And 007 is the concept of three and four. Ian Fleming studied in Lausanne, Switzerland, together with the SS Prince Bernhard. And at the very same time, before going to Munich, both of them where simultaneously Hitler and Alistair Crowley were too, at the very same moment. Double O, concept of three and four.